Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. This is my third time to try to get this video done. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have a pause on my cam on my camera like you do on a phone camera, and I don't. I'm not. I'm not editing the. You know, I don't know how to edit all that kind of good stuff or put two videos together. I know. Anyways, and um, our oldest daughter and soon-to-be son-in-law have broken down in this city so my husband and youngest daughter went up there and so I've had two calls from them a call from our son here in town on and on and on so anyways and he's just trying to help me with something so all right I am here I am ready to go I hope you guys are ready this video is uh, planning with my mini happy planner so I've already had the pages out um, I, my resolution this year for this planner is to let this be, um, inexpensive planning. So literally, I mean, most of my planning is inexpensive. I'm a, I like white space, so, um, that saves a lot of money already there. And so I literally just picked these three sticker books up, uh, within a week at Target. They're from the Target dollar spot. You get 12 pages each for $3. So for $9, that's a really good buy. That's 36 pages. And seriously, this will last me a long, long time. So, and then I also picked up, I have two of my Simply Gilded Washi. I'm not going to change the washi I have because like I always have said, um, for many, many years in teaching, washi is the cheapest thing you can use in a planner. If all you had was washi, I've done all washi layouts before too. Um, you, it just says it's pennies. It's literally pennies. Even if you bought a roll for three something, it's literally, you're only going to use a few pennies worth. So, um, so I threw these out. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but they both have that gold foil on it. And I love that and they're pastel and they kind of match what I was thinking I was going to do. So let's get started. And what I really like about these is these are really small. I think they'll fit very nicely in this planner. So, all right, I'm going to start with washi. We're going to get going and I'm going to pray that nobody calls me before I get this finished. So anyways, that it has been, I'm the one who stayed home and, and, yet everybody calls me so it's very sweet I don't feel left out they're 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 keeping me included I appreciate that but I you know the whole reason I stayed home my my youngest daughter was so sweet she goes mommy let me just go with daddy be, that way you can you know because I had an issue with one of my videos she's like that'll give you time to fix everything and I was like okay but um yeah they they are all calling me they're so cute <laughs> I tell you what um <clears throat> I was telling my son dropped by last night to return my car. They had borrowed it to go out of state to visit some of his wife's family. And um, I told him, I said, you know, I just never get time by myself. And so I had sent my husband and youngest to a movie last night and because uh, we had gone to the city and I was really tired and I knew I needed to get some videos done for y'all. And, um, and I, you know, I just kind of said, you know, I, I never was without children you know, for, it was 24 seven and it's been going on for, you know, almost 29 years now. And, um, and he kind of looked at me like, like he was not hurt, but kind of like, Oh, and I just said, no, I love my time with y'all, but you need to make sure that, especially if y'all homeschool, that you give your wife time off. And he was like, Oh, okay. Well that makes sense. And I was like, yeah, I said, you know, remember I never took any time off. I was always with you guys. And he was like, Oh, yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> I mean, my husband and I literally, we only went um, on, like, our anniversary trip once a year because we knew my parents would take care of the kids. And, you know, I mean, we just, there were a lot of reasons we made the decisions we made, and we don't regret them at all. But I do, the one thing I would, I always tell young mothers now is, you know, not to sound selfish, but I think that every young mother needs a break at least once a week uh, or one evening or one afternoon or Saturday or something. And and daddies, even though they've been working all week, if it's an at-home mom and a dad that works, they need to give mommy a break. And, um, you know, even if it's just putting the kids in the car and going to the park, you know, just, just give mommy a break. <laughs> so anyways, and make sure she takes that time. Ooh, I did not get that on there. Hold on guys. Let me fix that real quick. But, um, and yes, we had children with, you know, 
some health issues that I was always very concerned and overly cautious with, but and some of those concerns were, you know, they could have been deadly, so we had to be really careful, and, um, you know, I, I, I'm not to say we never ever had a babysitter. We had some friends, uh, children who babysat, one in particular, and, um, she was so sweet. When we moved away, we moved into the hill country, and I came back, and she saw me. She goes, I'll come to you just so you can have a day off, and she's such a sweet girl. I just loved her, and, um, she was. She was so precious. She was so, so precious. But she did babysit it for us maybe a handful of times. But, you know, we knew her because we knew her mom. We knew the family. And so she was just a sweetheart. But um, so I wanted to show you what these are. So I love, I wanted to use some of these. So they look very much like uh, Happy Planner stickers. Um, they're a paper sticker. They're not finished. So that's something different. But that doesn't bother me. I'm totally fine with that. Ooh, I love that. I love those. You know how I love those motivational encouragements. Um, I think I'm going to put do what you love. That's what I'm going to do. Because that is something I'm trying to retrain my brain this new year. Um, for any of you who have seen my other videos. And again, I'm sorry. I'm going to say it here. This will be my last video. But I was out of pocket for a few days because... I had pre, I had made some planner videos ahead, thank goodness, or other videos ahead, because um, I didn't know if we were going to travel, but I ended up getting sick during the holidays, and so I kind of got, there were a couple of days that lapsed, and I apologize for missing you guys, um, but I was, I was pretty sick, so, but I'm so glad to be back with y'all, and um, anyway, so, I don't know why I brought that up, but anyways, I apologize for missing y'all, and I love these, I want to use some of these, but first let me go in here with some of these pretty stickers first. Because literally they look like they're just for this planner, don't they? Um, I'm not going to completely do it, but I am going to, I'm actually going to cover that up. Because I don't like the black, and it says to do, and the sticker says to do. So I'm going to, I know, just being picky. But every now and then, don't we get to, you can kind of see through that. If that bothers you, you can use like white correction tape. I'm not going to for the sake of time for you guys, but if it bothers me, I'll go back and do that. But I'm going to tell you now, it probably won't bother me. <laughs> Except for honesty. <laughs> uh, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I pulled everything off. Let me see. I bet I can save it. There we go. Oh, uh, I hope you guys have had a good holidays. We really, um, except for being sick, <laughs> have had a pretty good one. Um, my sweet husband had all these things he was thinking about that we could do and um, he's been fixing, oh, that's the sticker, it has a little bit of a color on it, but that's okay, I like that, that's pretty, um, he's been doing repairs, he replaced a sink, um, and put in a vanity, we've had a pedestal sink for 15 years in our bathroom, it was so wonderful to have a sink with a counter, and it's one that we bought over a year ago, had, it was on clearance, we bought it for our youngest daughter, it didn't fit her bathroom, and it never dawned on me it would fit our bathroom. And when my my husband went to go look at them, and I was like, oh, I don't want to spend the money. And he was like, our son remembered. He said, hey, what about that one? And so, and he was even, our son is buying supplies to build the house. And he's like, hey, I'll give you this. You can have this of mine. It was so sweet. Anyways, my husband put it in. I'm in hug heaven. I now, I, I, I have a sink and a counter. It's been so long. <laughs> And so, my husband, I told him, I said, I put a little, like, cabinet in for him, and he just took it over. He put stuff on top, all in, in the cabinet, and I was like, uh, okay. And I did that a couple of years ago. This sink and cabinet matched perfectly. The other still fits in there. So, I told him, I said, the drawers are mine. And, <laughs> and I kind of said it, kind of creepy, like I just did. And I kind of did it on purpose, and he started laughing. He goes, no, they're yours. And I said, okay, thank you. So, he still has to fix one of the drawers is it hits the pipe, so he'll have to take it out and shave it somehow. And I keep waiting on him to do it, but I cannot wait. It's going to be like, it's going to be like Christmas all over again. I'm going to set it all up, and I'm going to put my things in a drawer. They're not going to be baskets in the, we have a little closet. And um, I even have a fake, like, plastic drawer in there for me to put stuff in. So, I, it's, I, I'm telling you, it's going to be like Christmas. I'm going to be so happy. 
so I can't wait and uh, he's going to hopefully I was hoping he'd do it today because it's rainy because um, starting probably tomorrow he's going to end up doing projects outside before he has to go back to work but um, anyways it's uh, it's uh, it's so sad when you're so happy <laughs> that you get drawers in your bathroom but I'm happy what can I say I'm I'm a cheap date. I'm really easy, but I mean, he literally put that in. I think we bought it for just over a hundred dollars, guys, and it's really nice. It's got like a faux marble top, and it's country white with you know two drawers and a cabinet. And anyways, can you can you hear me? Let you see me practicing opening the drawers in the cabinet. I'm so excited. <laughs> so anyways, I I just told him I said I I I I don't want to bother you, but. I would really love to put my stuff in there. And he just started laughing. He's like, okay, okay, okay. He goes, well, you can put your stuff in there. Because forever he had, like, all of his tools in there. Because he was replacing all the sink fixtures and tub fixtures. And, you know, we live in a 1938 home. So there's a lot that needed to be kind of updated and repaired. And anyways, I told him, I said, he goes, what do you think about those shower fixtures? And I was like, it's so great. When you reach to turn them, they're like, ergonomically you know they're rounded they look vintage and I said but they're not like like crusty <laughs> he started laughing and we keep them very clean but they're just old you know they were sharp edges and anyways and I told him I said I, I don't want to sound ungrateful but you know it's so nice for them to, to be nice now <laughs> he was like I know <laughs> so I was just like well you know I <laughs> I don't want to sound like it was horrible, but it was kind of gross, and <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was. <laughs> so anyways, we are like the easiest, cheapest dates under the sun. Um, I'm so thankful that my husband can do these things. We really don't know what's going to be in our future in the next month or so. Um, and those who watch my channel, you know what we're talking about. So we have lived a very, very lean holidays, and... Um, any extra money we ended up helping our kids and um, and and that's fine it's totally fine we're happy to do it um, but that's the reason we didn't go on trips or anything like that and we even had our son over he was helping my husband with the repairs so I mean we really benefited I mean you know and, and if anybody we the what the number one thing we benefited on is he remembered we had that sink and storage and the counter and everything so anyways look at that me chattering away and look how fast that's coming together so up here i'm going to put another sticker because i i want to top that out i don't know what's wrong with me but it just has to be you know has to be topped so <laughs> anyways uh but i really love this this is a really cute and look how easy peasy this is it's such a cute cute sticker kit so all right let me see here but so i feel like i have a new bathroom Though it's still not quite finished, but um, it will be hopefully soon. And God loves my husband. He, because of all my arthritis and my skin is so sensitive, um, I keep our shower. We have an avocado green tub. Yes. We have a pink and green bathroom, which when we first moved in, I was like, oh, that pink paint on the walls, because it's half tile on the walls. It's gorgeous. And the gorgeous, it's all original tile on the walls and the, and the shower tub on the floors it's just it's really beautiful work and um anyways um i thought we were going to paint the walls and as longer we were in there i was like we're not touching those walls i love that paint and um but anyways so uh he we have an avocado green tub and if you take a shower it'll leave soap scum so and we have hard water because we have our own well so um he doesn't always spray down the shower i use you know vinegar water and essential oils and, and it's amazing how clean it can get rid of that soap scum so my husband decided when we were before christmas in the outlet mall we ran by um the pottery barn at the outlet mall and they had barkeeper's friend and they had the soft and they had the heart you know the powder so i always use the powder on my kitchen sink so i pick that up and i i can't do it but you know i use a brush so it doesn't touch my hands and um <clears throat> pardon me he decided he was going to do our tub and he did it two times like two different days it looks like brand new. I was just like, oh my goodness, that looks fantastic. And I told him, I said, if you want to keep that up and not have to like break your back and clean that again, um, cause he's, you know, he, he's so funny. Um, he, he was like, yeah. And I said, so why don't you use the vinegar spray? Like I keep saying, if you'll spray it down after every shower, you won't have to keep cleaning it. 
he was like, well, it looks pretty good now. And I'm like, it does look good, but we want to keep it up. But bless his heart. So he replaced the shower fixtures. He Not the, the shower head, because we had recently replaced that. He replaced the fixtures, which was a big deal. He replaced um, the sink, the fixtures, everything. And um, and he had to cut out the back of the cabinet. You know, I mean, he was, nothing was easy, easy peasy. And, um, and then, you know, and then he cleans the tub too. I mean, I, I don't mean to sound like selfish or anything, but score. I mean, <laughs> I told him, I said, wow, really? I should make my list better next time. <laughs> He's like, no more, no more. <laughs> Because he had such a hard time replacing the fixtures because everything's so old. And um, pipes, and it, he had to get adjust, I don't know, he had to get things to adjust things. And so it was, it was like probably a total of 10 trips to the other towns, to hardware stores and Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever to try to find everything. So anyways, I am, I'm thinking I'm going to put some of this on here, but first I'm going to go through this. I am not probably going to use this one. I will use it next time, but just to give you a quick flip through. I mean, it really is sweet, you know, and it does have some functionals and some encouragements, and I love the words, you know, I love that. So, <clears throat> pardon me, we have cedar again really badly here, so everybody is huh, just, you know, hanging on, <laughs> as my son says, but okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything really, you know what, I don't think there's really anything in here I want to put out in here. I think I'm going to save these. There's nothing of that I'm going to use. I'm just going to I'm just going to let this be encouraging. So, so do what you love. I love that. And I want to do create every day. But I think I'm going to actually I'm doing all my planning right now, so I'm going to put dream here. Um I'm going to be working on that in between here. And let me see. I'm going to put some flowers because, you know, there aren't enough flowers on that. <laughs> I think I'm going to go hibiscus. I love hibiscus flowers. Having grown up on the coast, there are just some things that will never come out of my... I love the ocean. I miss it every day. Um, and I love I love hibiscus flowers. That's a big part of living on the coast here in Texas or warmer climates. Even in San Antonio, we could grow them. So, let me see. Is there anything else I want to do? Um... <laughs> now you're probably saying pick this one. Oh, there's another hibiscus. I think I will. I think I will put that on here. I think I will compliment them somehow. So I think I'm going to put it right here. Okay, that's it. That's it, my friends. I think I'm done. So I will put this back. I'm planning ahead so I won't get behind on you guys. So here we go. I mean, whoops, I'm about to drop everything. Okay, here we go. Let's get this one in. And... Yeah, so, long story short, I still have a honeydew list for my husband for this week and weekend, but we'll see. And I'd really like us to get away for a night, but we'll see. We just, because I was sick, we couldn't go anywhere. But that will happen when it's the right time. Okay, my sweet friends, this is my mini happy planner. You can see how it turned out. I used my Simply Gilded Washi, and then not even a full page of so 12 pages divided into three dollars uh, less than 10 cents a sheet right is that right um all you math whizzes out there can tell me no that's not right no oh, i'll have that number for you in the in below but it didn't even use that so literally we're talking pennies guys we are talking and then i used only two stickers off of here so we are talking pennies so I guarantee, I, 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 without a shadow of a doubt, this is less than a dollar. So um, you do not have to spend a lot of money to make things beautiful. Please hear that one more time. You do not need to spend a lot of money to make things beautiful. And I'm going to add one thing to that, and neat and in order. So if this is something that floats your boat, please look at the Dollar Tree, look at uh Target Dollar Spot. Um, Michaels has their own kits too that aren't very expensive. And if you have your coupon, you can get them for half price. Um, I'm sure there are things, and now I take that back, there are things also at Hobby Lobby. So you can use your coupon, your weekly coupon, and get it 40% off. So um, 
please, please, please don't break the bank. Just keep it simple. Keep yourself on track and do what floats your boat. If this doesn't float your boat, figure out what does and go for it. I'd just like to encourage you because you deserve something pretty and efficient and something that would encourage you. So, anyways. All right, my sweet, sweet friends. And actually, as I look at this, it reminds me of spring. So, I I'm really ready to get over this cold weather. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. I'm being silly. I'll let you guys go. Um, like, subscribe, share. Um, we are so happy to have you. And I'm so thankful you're here. And I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Um, I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.